Hi, it's Jason Falls with the Marketing Podcast Network. I'm in the middle of an edit here, obviously, of a, a show that I'm doing some editing for, and I thought I'd just show you a couple of tricks that I do. Um, I've been editing audio in some form or capacity for 35 years. I uh, started working on old reel-to-reel -reel tapes back in uh, in radio, so just want to show you a couple tricks. Um, I'm going to try to clean up this audio to make the interview sound a lot uh, cleaner and tighter, take out the ums, take out the breaths, etc. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Now I can zoom in and out of this uh, audiogram file that comes up in um, Adobe Audition is what I'm working in. Uh, but this is uh, an interview here that I'll just play and you'll be able to hear it and hear what I do to it. So uh, let's just kind of roll with it. I'm right in the middle of it, so I've already started, but here we go. Um, and I have gotten... Okay, the first thing I see here, here is a big um. Um, and I have got... So I got to find the and have gotten, um, and have gotten. So I'm going to, you know, kind of come in here where I think it is. And I have got... 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 And I have gotten... That sounds about right. And I have got and have gotten so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to delete it and so now I'm going to back out a little bit and play it and see if it sounds good camping with my family and have gotten there you go camping with my family and have gotten so that um is now gone so I've taken that distraction in the speech out of the equation and it sounds like she's naturally talking so let's keep going I've gotten super into hiking and backpacking and just there's a breath so your breaths are going to be more obvious. You're going to see them as small little lines, probably maybe a little bubble, but just to play that, you know, for you again. Cracking and just. So here's the isolation of that. Just all things. So I'm just going to, um, now I can do two things here. Depending upon the uh, cadence of her speech, I can just delete it, which here's what that sounds like. Backpacking and just all things. Right, so just all things goes right into it. Now let me undo that, and I can also silence it, which allows you to keep the timing and the pace of her voice pattern. So listen to this. Backpacking and just all things out. Right, so that pause there is not awkward. It's not uncomfortable. Uh, but it is, uh, the way I, that I like to determine it, whether or not I delete it, is if you take the breath out and the sentence continues and it makes perfect sense and sounds good, then go ahead and take it out. You're, you're, you're taking out a silence that doesn't need to be there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'll leave a little bit of space between the words. Backpacking and just all things outdoors. Um, There's another um. I can kind of see that one's pretty complete, so I'm just going to take it out. Things outdoors. Love to tear up a dirt road in the summer. Um, There's another um. And it looks pretty complete, so, um, delete. Road in the summer, can't wait to get back out there very soon. Uh, There's another breath, so can't wait to get out there very soon. And then she actually starts into an um as well, right? Um, and so, and so. So let's find the and so. And so, be, and so, and so, and so being in, and so. Be, that sounds about right, right there. So I'm going to take all of this. And instead of, if I delete this whole thing, the breath and the um, then it might sound a little awkward. So let me delete it and show you what it sounds like. To get back out there very soon. And so being... So that's a it's not bad actually, but it's a little jumpy. So what I might do is silence, but now this is going to sound weird. Very soon. And so be... Right, that's too long of a pause. So then I just kind of delete a big chunk of the pause. Get back out there very soon. And so being in Seattle... So there's a little bit of a click there, and I don't, it's not obviously in the silence, but there's a click in her voice. That's something that, you know, only a handful of people are ever going to notice. I notice it because I do this a lot. But if you listen very closely, you can hear a click. Very soon. And You're very soon. Right, there's a little something there on the end. It's right in there. Now, I can do a couple of things here. I can leave it because really, literally, like less than one-tenth of one percent of the population is ever going to notice that. Or I can zoom in. I don't really want to amend the word too bad, but let's just try deleting this portion. Very soon. And so there you go. See the click's gone. Very soon. And so And so it, it's I may I may even going to tighten this up a little bit more. Now let's pan out. Out there very soon. And so being in Seattle, just surrounded by all this water and all these mountains and trees, um, is there's another um. Now, you don't have to take every um out. It's natural for people to have some ums in their talk. But 
more than 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 often you'll want to take out at least half of them because some people um a lot and it can be distracting. You don't want it to be distracting. So you can leave some in. So what I typically do is if the um kind of slurs into another word and it's really hard to kind of isolate the beginning of the next syllable, sometimes I'll leave it in. It's okay to have an um or two in there, but you can still clean it up. Let's see what this one sounds like. Trees um, is just... So that one's pretty isolated. Here's the beginning of the um. um. And then the end of the um and the beginning of the next syllable is here. It's just... So I can just go, yeah, you're gone. Boom, and... Trees is just truly a... It doesn't even sound like she there there was anything in there. It doesn't even sound like an edit, right? Trees is just true. <laughs> and trees is just truly a dream come true. Uh, Breath and an um, very well defined. Boom. True, but I'm also uh. See that tightens up the conversation, and now your pace, you're affecting the pace. Listen. Truly a dream come true, but I'm also uh. Now some people might call that out, and say there's a clear edit there, and they're probably right. But again, you're taking out the ums, you're taking out the pauses, and that actually makes a kind of a slow, methodical kind of conversation and gives it a little bit of energy so that it's a faster pace. And it might sound a little awkward, you know, rough around the edges here or there, but it brings up the energy level of the audio, which is more compelling for the audience. So it actually makes the podcast better. There's a balance. You can make it worse, but... This is kind of what I look to do. Also, uh, a dog. Uh, a dog? Nope. We're going to get rid of everything right there. I'm also a dog mom. There you go. So just some quick tips on how to edit audio uh, and try to clean that stuff up. Hope that helps.